Welcome. You know, one of the things I remember about my grandma was she was always making hot pads. She made them for all the grandkids, and when you see how easy these are, you'll want to make them all the time as well. To begin, you'll need a skein of yarn, a G or H crochet hook, scissors, and a large eye needle. Begin with a slip stitch wrapped around your crochet hook, and you'll want to chain about 42. Now you can adjust this number depending on the size of hot pad you want, but that's a good number to start with. So I've completed my chain stitching. The next step is to do a single crochet in each chain. Let's walk through the single crochet. Insert your hook into the first chain. Grab the yarn, pull it through just the first loop, grab the yarn again, and then pull it through both loops. Insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through one loop, grab the yarn, pull through two loops and repeat over and over. Once you have single crocheted in each stitch of the chain, you will continue around and single crochet in each stitch of the unused side of the chain. So you're going to be going around and around, not back and forth as often you do in crochet. Once you have single crocheted in each stitch of the chain, you're going to continue around the other side and single crochet in each single crochet. So insert your hook into the two loops on the top of the single crochet and continue to single crochet in each stitch. As you continue, it will begin to form these little pockets on the side. Keep going. Continue crocheting until the ends touch. Then fasten off the yarn, and then measure a length of yarn from corner to corner and add a few inches. Next, thread the yarn through a large eye needle. Sew the two ends of your hot pad together. Weave the yarn through several stitches to prevent unraveling. Clip off the excess yarn and you're done. Thank you for watching. For more DIY crafts, projects, and recipes, please subscribe and then visit adventuresofadiymom.com.